I'm Rantasmo, and the Westboro Baptist Church needs more gay. Let's talk about trolls. A troll, if we're not talking about poorly conceived cartoon characters voiced by Dom DeLuise, is generally defined as one who declares a deliberately offensive message for the sole purpose of provoking a response. You've seen them. In the comments of some YouTube video of a baby dancing to a Destiny's Child song, they'll post something like, OMG, you stupid you your with a Benjama flying also what is the name of the song. The internet is a troll's natural habitat, and it's easy to see why. It's easily accessible, largely unregulated, and most importantly, anonymous. But what happens when trolls give up their anonymity and bring their ugly behavior into the real world? And where do you draw the line between saying crazy things just to get a reaction and being actually crazy? It's hard to understand the behavior of people like Assistant Attorney General Andrew Sherbel, who learned the hard way that people don't take kindly to cyberbullying and generally being a creeper. No matter how honorable your intentions of decrying the evils of voluntary gender-neutral housing. But Sherville is small potatoes compared to a group that has become synonymous with real-life trolling. And chances are that even if you somehow haven't heard of them, you at least heard of their actions. They are the Westboro Baptist Church. Formed by Pastor Fred Phelps and composed almost entirely of his own family members, the WBC is an extremist group that believes that 9-11, the Iraq War, and pretty much any sort of unnatural death is actually God's punishment for America's tolerance of homosexuality. They gained national attention for their pickets of the funerals of American soldiers, holding signs that say God hates fags, God hates America, thank God for dead soldiers, and other delightful catchphrases. It's not just funerals that these guys protest at. They protested at a local appliance store for selling Swedish vacuums, Sweden being notoriously gay-friendly. They protested at Comic-Con because nerds worship Batman. And they protested a Lady Gaga concert because, well, because Lady Gaga. Normally, people with anti-gay views would at best be referred to as controversial. But there's nothing controversial about the Phelpses. Literally, everybody hates them. And that seems to be the way they like it. By their own admission, the WBC isn't interested in changing anyone's mind. All they really seem to want is attention. And thanks to the media, the internet, and people like, well, me, they've got it. Here's the odd thing. The one group of people that these protests may actually benefit is the gay community itself. Going back to the internet, there's a certain type of troll called a straw man sock puppet. One who pretends to hold a point of view different from their own, for the purpose of making that point of view look foolish. For example, someone who actually supports gay marriage might post something like, Oh my god, gay marriage is bad because Adam and Steve their and peppermint And then everyone else is like, I disagree. Also, what is the name of the song? Now, I'm not saying that the WBC are actually secretly pro-gay rights, but they seem to have the same effect as a straw man sock puppet, even if that's not their intention. The one nice thing that you can say about the Phelpses is, is that they're honest. And unlike certain politicians and people whose names rhyme with Tandrew Turvel, they don't try to hide their bigotry with double talk and PR. They're crude, they're obnoxious, and the mere sight of them inspires anger and revulsion. To put it simply, they make hate look bad. And a lot of their protests tend to be eclipsed by much larger counter-protests. In a weird, messed up way, the Phelpses might actually be helping to generate gay support. Not that that justifies crashing anyone's funeral. But it's nice to at least imagine that there's a silver lining here, if only to relieve the nausea I get from even talking about these people. So while I go make a Pepto smoothie, enjoy this rage-quelling picture of a puppy imagining a guitar. <laughs>